My name is Will with Grimspeed and today we're going to be talking about the Subaru Uppipe install for all turbo model Subarus. Now just as a heads up, we did remove the heat shield and under tray ahead of time, so you will not see that. So the tools for today's install are going to be PB Blaster or equivalent, a 14mm wrench, a 16mm wrench, 14mm sockets, both normal and deep, a socket or torque wrench, extensions, a 2.2 cam resistor if you have an EGT in your up pipe, anti-seize if you so choose for the bolts, and just about 2-3 to three hours of your time. We're going to start off by putting a little PP blaster on all the nuts, all five of them connecting the downpipe to the turbo. To loosen these, we're going to need a 14 millimeter socket. Now, we already did break these loose ahead of time. Um, make sure you're going to use linear force on these nuts so you do not shear off any of the studs or bolts, and then just take them off so the downpipe is completely separated from the turbo. Next, we're going to locate the O2 sensor wire running from the exhaust manifold. Look for the connector and disconnect this so when uninstalling the exhaust manifold it is much easier so you do not have to unscrew the O2 sensor from the exhaust housing underneath the car. Now there is a bracket connecting the downpipe to the transmission you will need to undo and then we're just going to drop the downpipe. Now there's going to be five nuts that are going to connect the turbo to the uppipe and the brackets. We're going to use a deep socket 14 for the ones that have the studs that stick up a little further. And then we're going to use a short socket for the outer ones that have shorter studs and to get in between the compressor and exhaust housing for that last nut. Do not completely remove these. You can remove a couple, but make sure you leave a couple on there to hold the up pipe to the turbo still. Now from underneath the car, we're going to take a look at the exhaust manifold. There are two bolts connecting the exhaust manifold to the up pipe. These need to get completely removed. Next up, we're going to look at the three nuts that connect the top of the exhaust manifold to the bottom of the heads. Now there are three on either side for both runners. We're going to start off by loosening up the three nuts on each side of the exhaust manifold and the two bolts that connect to the uppipe. Then we're going to completely remove the bolts to the uppipe. And of course then undo the nuts on either side of the exhaust manifold. Be careful as this whole thing might fall, so make sure you're supporting it. Then we're going to the top and we are going to Finally loosen up the top two nuts that we left on the up pipe to hold it to the turbo for stability. You may need to lift up or jack up the engine a little bit to wiggle out the up pipe, but with a little bit of convincing the up pipe does come out. Now if your up pipe has the factory EGT option in it, you can either use the resistor now and put it in line, or you can leave it unplugged and you will get a check engine light from this that can be easily deleted by a tuner. Now when you get our up pipe, what you're going to get is two bolts to mount the up pipe to the exhaust manifold and five new studs. Now there is a secret to putting these studs in securely. What we're going to do is we're going to take two nuts and tighten them to each other on the stud. You can either do it like this or with the collars facing each other depending on what wrenches you have. You're going to simply then hand tighten it into the flange. Now once these are threaded all the way in, just make sure you take your wrench and tighten it in there so that way the threads lock nice and tight to the flange. Now the trick to removing these nuts is to put a wrench on either nut and twist in opposite directions. Both then will be able to slide right off the stud. Now we're going to slide the up pipe back in with the studs installed in it. This should be able to slide back in quite a bit easier than the stock one, being that it does not have the heat shields on it. Make sure you get the orientation lined up just about where you're going to need it and set it back down, so that way when you go up top, you know exactly where to put it. 
Now up top we're going to use a new gasket here. This is our standard thickness gasket which is actually 22% thicker than stock. You are always going to want to use a new gasket especially at such a critical connection point. Now we're going to pull the up pipe into place and push the studs through the holes and we're actually going to screw on a couple of nuts just to hold it in place. Now when we go back down to the bottom, what we are going to use is new gaskets here too. This is another one of those critical connection points where you should always be using new gaskets against the head. You can actually slide these on and the studs should hold them in place. Now we're going to push the exhaust manifold back up into place and to secure it down we're going to use a couple nuts to tighten down over the studs on the head. Now if you need to get a little more slack out of the system and it may help you anyways you might want to loosen up the cross pipe bolts there's four of them total on either side of the cross pipe connected to the exhaust manifold ends. This should help with installation especially if you have an aftermarket turbo. Now what we're going to do here is slide one bolt through slightly and get our new gasket and put just one hole of the gasket with the bolt. We should also have a little slack left in that up pipe because we did not tighten it all the way down to the turbo so now this is where we can adjust all of our systems to get this to fit just right. Our system didn't need any adjusting, but if yours does, this is kind of where you go back and forth tightening everything down to just make sure it's all within spec. And then we're going to put this last bolt through. And we should be pretty good to go down here right now. We're just going to make sure these are hand tightened down. And now we're going to actually take a look at kind of what this looks like from the bottom and from the top. Fits in there nice and snug, doesn't rub on anything, and the fitment should be spot on. Now what we're going to do is take a brand new gasket and put it between the turbo and the downpipe. Once again, this is another critical connection point that you need to make sure is sealed correctly. Now we're just going to mate up the downpipe to the turbo. We're going to set it on one of these studs and then we're going to put two of our bolts in and tighten these down. The torque specs on this are 26 foot-pounds. Now we're going to go underneath the car and we're going to tighten down the bolts that go from the exhaust manifold to the up pipe. Once again, these are 26 foot-pound bolts. Now once these are all tightened up, we're going to take our wrench with an extension and we're going to tighten down the nuts that go onto the studs to the head. Now these are going to be tightened down to 28.9 foot-pounds, so just about 29 foot-pounds. We're going to take our O2 sensor wire and tuck it up and grab it from overhead and pull it back through the engine bay. And we're going to plug it back in so that way we do not get any check engine lights and the car is going to continue to run normally. Once this is plugged in, that should about complete your install. Just make sure you've uh, double-checked all the bolts and make sure it's all tightened down. Now you're running a new Grimspeed up pipe.